Good afternoon, good Friday to everybody. I'm jumping in here, I'm not even scheduled to do a live, but I saw some posts that were just breaking my heart. And so I thought I would jump on and walk through week one, day one of kindergarten. Okay, so there's two specific people that I saw posts on that I was like, oh my gosh, I feel so bad. So I'm going to walk you through. Um, Sunny and Christy did, did a great um, job. Hi there, everybody. Edgy Mama and Amanda, good to, good to have you. Um, I have a 2020 kindergarten instructor's guide. So that's what I'm gonna walk through. And Sunny and Christy did a great live on the IG. But this is specifically for those people who are like, I am overwhelmed. I don't even know where to start. So I pulled out, this is all the week one pages from the big binder. I have the big binder right here. And this is overwhelming, I give you that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just pull out the week one, day one stuff, and we're gonna walk through it. So this is the HBL. It's divided by Bible, history and geography, and read, read alouds. So we have three sections here under history, Bible lit. So what does it say? It says it, there is the one-year Bible for ch children. Um, there's memorization. There's Sing the Word, which is a CD. There is the very first Americans, Heroes and ha Happenings, Dolphin Adventure, and the Llama Who Had No Pajama. Now, I have not done K because back when I start started a long time, time ago, um, this is a this is a relatively new level, so I do not have all these books. So you're going to have to use your imagination. So this is our Bible book. This is the very first Americans. This is Heroes and ha Happenings. I do have that one. This is Dolphin Adventure, and this is the poetry book, which it's not. So I want you to go to your shelf and pull out, these are the books that we're reading from this week. That's all we're doing for the History Bible Lit. And you're gonna keep this in a basket, on, on you know, the corner of your buffet, um, in a drawer, in a rolly cart. That's all you're going to have with you for this first week. Now, before you even start, there are some in, there's some introductory information here in your notes. So what I like to do is I like to read through that information. So it's a how to quick start, that's what this says here. And then there is some information on record keep, keeping. And then, it, and then there's a section here that says vocabulary and cultural lit, lit, literacy. And I grabbed my highlighters and I went through and I highlighted some stuff that I wanted to know. So I want you to read it all, but I want you to highlight what's important to you. So here's what's important to me. Vocabulary words are used to, um, are, are, are words that your students may encounter in other books, right? So it's just good words. So you may want to challenge your students to define the terms using the clues found in the context of the rest of the story. So there's going to be a short quote under vocabulary when you encounter that in your notes, which is gonna be on the back side. When you encounter a vocabulary word, there's a short quote that comes straight from the book that you're re reading. So read that quote and see if your student can decipher the meaning from the, the context clues in that quote. Um, if they can give you the meaning, great. Then they're learning how to define words just by context clues. I'm gonna flip the page. I've highlighted some more things. So cultural lit literacy are terms that, um, that you want to define for them. So they're probably not gonna be able to come up with context clues for these words. So you want to use these words like a convenient glo glossary. So as you're reading, if there are some of these cultural literacy words, just tell your student what it means and we're, on, we're gonna model that for, for you. Okay, so that's, that's the end of the vocabulary. Now there's another subheading to discuss after you read. So this, you're gonna find this throughout your notes 
And these are comprehension questions which are meant to help your child focus on some of the more important aspects of the stories. Do you grade based on these questions? No. Do you have to use the questions that are here? No. Mostly you're just wanting to see, is your child following along? Do they understand what I'm re reading? So we're gonna talk about that. But that's what to discuss after you read means. Then there's a section on the timeline. Anne did a great video on the timeline book. If you haven't watched it, go watch it. But here she's, here they um, explain that there's this little symbol. Do you see it right here? It's just a little guy. That symbol, my notes tell, tell me that that indicates that there is an accompanying fi figure in the figure packet. So go find your stapled pieces of paper that have all your fi figures and that's where you're gonna find that. There's also this little clock symbol. You see that right there? That tells you that um, these are suggestions and you can add them. They tell you to handwrite these suggestions into your timeline book as well. You can do that. We did not. We only did the fi fi figures. But if you want to, then you just handwrite that in. That's gonna be the difference. And you're gonna see those figures here on your schedule page. So that's what those mean. When you got the little person, you have a sticker. When you just have the clock, you don't. You, you can hand write that in. Then it tells you here, when a timeline, right here, I highlighted it. When a timeline suggestion denotes a range of dates, 1865 to 1890, we recommend that you use the ending date. So you would put it at 1890. I didn't do that. I put it at the beginning date because these notes weren't written when I start, started. So that's how we start started. Then it goes on to explain the map points. And there's this little symbol, it's a little world. So when you see that on your schedule page, like right here, there's a symbol of the world. That is telling you that there is a map point activity that you're going to do. And you can find those in your notes. So you see here that under, so hard to work backwards. Under the very first Americans, there is a world map. You go to your notes, here is the very first Americans, right here, and you look, 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 down, 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 and you see on page three that there are two mapping points. That's where you're going to find that information. So on the schedule page, it gives you a heads up that you're gonna be doing that, but when you're like, oh, what am I supposed to do? You're gonna find it in your notes page. Okay. So that is the markable map. And then it tells you, so for some further information, so right down here, it lets you know that um, you can go to the My Download section of your account. So go to sunlight.com, log in at the top where it says log, log in, and it should say, hi, Sheila Del Charco, if you're log, logged in. If you click on your name, that will take you to the um, your account section and you will find all kinds of down downloads there. There's one called Understanding the Structure of Your Guide and there's one called Getting Star Started. So look for those documents and see if those are helpful. But that's where you, you can find those. So that's the introductory information for the History Bible Lit. And I like to do this before we even start. I like to do a teacher planning retreat and this is when I read through all this stuff. And if you need to use um, sticky notes and stick, stick them around just to remind yourself what you're doing, that's okay. You will eventually get it and you won't need the sticky notes, but for now, use them to your advantage. So that's the introductory material. So how do you start? You start by you can either start at the very top and work, work your way down. Um, a lot of people start with bi Bible at breakfast, so you would do the Bible stuff at breakfast time. What do you do? Okay, it tells me. The one year bi Bible for ch children, day one says January one to three. Yes. Um, and so I'm gonna go to my Bible book, which is not this book, but you would go to yours and you would read January one through three. That's it. And then I'm going to take a quick peek. Is there a note back here under um, the one year Bible for children? There's a little note. So this, this would also be good to read during your um, teacher planning retreat. And all it tells you is 
We scheduled the Bible readings to complete the book by the end of the school year. If you would prefer to use it over the whole year, then read one section per day, which is why it's get scheduled January 1 through 3, even though you're starting school on September 9th or whatever. So that's it for Bible. You read it. If you want to talk about it, oh, what part did you like or who is, you know, what did God create or whatever. You can. But it's just really, you're just exposing. This is kindergarten. It's exposure. So you read the Bible and that's it. Then what does it say? It says memorization Ephesians 4.32, which is on the Sing the Word CD right here. And it tells you what track. Track one, be kind. Listen to the entire track. We would do this in the car. I still have a minivan that has a CD player. If you don't, you can download it, go to, to your account, my down, downloads, you should have a digital ver version of that. Play it however you want. Uh, I've never tried that because I still have a, C a C CD player. But you would listen to track one and just play it over and over again. Um, so again, I have not done this level um, sunlight did not come out with the CDs until after my first year. So I have never, ever had a CD match up to the year that I was doing. However, I did use the idea of using songs to memorize scripture. So the scripture is listed here. Um, so you know what it is, but really you're just listening to it. And Ephesians 4.32 is one of the ones that I memorized way back when. It's a different ver version. Not the tune that you're going to have because I didn't have that, but be kind to each other, tender hearted, forgiving one another, just as Christ and God has forgiven you. Ephesians 4.32. That's it. You sing it, you play it in the car, you play it at breakfast time, and you're done with that. So that's it for day one by Bible. That's what you've done. So now you might want to do language arts, you might want to do math. I like to alternate table time with couch time. But let's just plow through the history Bible lit first. So now we get to the history section. So it tells me that um, my first book is gonna be The Very First Americans, and I'm gonna read these pages. And there's a little N, you see the N? That is telling me that there's a note. So I'm going to go to, to my notes section. I'm going to find the very first Americans. And I highlighted, it says note to mom or dad. And it's telling you, please number the pa pages. Use the first page of text as page four. So that means that my little fake book, I don't have that book, um, but it's about this size. There are no page numbers. So I'm going to go to the first um, first page of text that I'm going to go ahead and write number five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and I will not number the whole book so that when I see, oh, I have to read pages four to eleven, I know what those pages are. So that's what that note is. So then I say, okay, we're going to read, I can't do that math, seven pages, whatever it is. So I'm going to read these seven pages. And so I read it aloud to my children and I show them the pictures and we do that. At the end, I see that under um, the book, it tells me day, day one, it shows me again what the pa pages are and there are some questions to discuss after you read. And so we're going to discuss these. Now, if they can't answer it, am I going to give them a bad grade? No. If they, if they can't answer it, I might go back and say, okay, oh, we don't know how the first pe people came to America. Let's read that part again. And then I'll stop after we've read that part and I'll call one of my kids to say, so how, how did, did they come? And hopefully they will say they probably followed the wild animals because you have the answer key, although you've just read it. And then it tells you to point out a picture of a, wool, of a woolly man, man mammoth, the cats, the bison, like it tells you what to do. Then there's another question, and then there's another question, and then there's another question. Do you have to ask all, all the questions? No. If you think your kids are like, I'm lo losing them, it's okay, move on. You're just exposing them. So then that is, um, it's gonna continue on the next page. These are some more questions. These are the mapping activities. So then, then you can decide, oh, let's do the mapping stuff. And the mapping says, compare the map on page five to the same location on your world map. So again, page five in your book, 
I don't have that book, but there's gonna be a map in that book. And you're just gonna compare it. You're just looking at it. Like, oh, let's look for, for things that we recognize. You know, the coast of California, here's Flor Florida, this, this little tail thing. And just point things out. And then it says, find the northwest coast of the United States, today found near the state of Washington, B2 map one. So what does that mean? There, oh, I should have gotten this out before, but just a minute. So you have this little laminated map and there are several maps on here. So this is map one. It says so at the top. Map three, map two. So when it tells you, um, what did, oh, let me close this before I mess this up. So when it says, lost my pages. Map, uh, B2 map one, it's telling you to look on map one and then you're going to use your grid skills and find B2. And then you see right here, it says Northwest Coast. This is your answer key. This is where you're going to find the information. If you don't know where the Northwest Coast of the United States is, it's on here. And then you're gonna to go to your markable map and you're going to have your child find, find, find it. And you're going to look for clues like, okay, so see this bump and you see this tail thing here. So you see where it is on this page? Show me where it is on the big map. And I have the big map in the other room. So sorry, I didn't get that ready. This is what I'm gonna be talking about on Tuesday. Um, and so that's, that's all the mapping is. And you would lay, label it on, on your map, uh, Northwest Coast, that's it. So that's day one history. So I look here and it says Heroes and ha ha Happenings. That's the second book, but there's nothing to be read here. This book doesn't start till day four. So I'm going to read this book for three days and then I will get to this book and read that on day four. So all the notes for the very first Americans is just going to follow. So this is day one, then we have day two and all the questions here with some more mapping things. Day three here, and after day three, you're, you're done. You've read the whole book. So then on day four, you will see the name of the book up here and the pages that you're re reading and the questions and mapping activities that you're doing. And so after you've done that, you've done all of the Bible, all of the history. Now it says read alouds, and it shows you Dolphin Adventure is one book, and... The Llama Who Had No Pajama is the other book. The Llama book is a poetry book and you see you only use it two out of the four days. Honestly, we would read poetry two weeks worth and then we wouldn't touch that book again because it's one page. You're reading page seven. You can, um, I'm actually not taking questions yet. Let me get through through this and then if you have questions, we, we can talk. Um, so I would just sit and do poetry for a few few days and check them off and then I can put this book away. I don't need to open this book again for two weeks. So Dolphin Adventure, the notes for that are going to be in the back. There is, there is a tab called Section 3 and I just pulled this out of Section 3. So the first book in Section 3 is the Read, read Alouds, Week 1, Dolphin Adventure. Okay, so these are the ones that go with your book. And it's very easy to just tuck them in your book. Again, we're pretending that this is Dolphin Adventure. I don't have that book. Just tuck it in here. And if you read this at bedtime, this is when we did our read alouds, it frees up more time during the day to do the not as fun stuff. Then it's there with it. The pages are there with it. And you're going to do the same thing. It's, um, you follow the schedule. So it might be helpful to take a sticky and put day one, chapters one and two, day two, chapters three and four, day three, chapters five and six, day four, chapters seven and eight, and put the sticky on your book. That way you have all the information you need for all week long. And if the kids want more chapters, it's fine. You just mean you'll just work through this book faster. Not a big deal. But the questions, 
the comprehension questions are here. This introductory stuff is more introductory stuff that you can read during your teacher planning retreat. It talks about how read aloud time is a precious bonding time with your chi child and it talks about benefits, you know, another benefit, if your day feels full, save it for bedtime. Like it gives you lots of good information. It's all the good information stuff is gonna be in the week one information because once you get the vi vision, you don't need to keep rereading that stuff. And then um, this has some cultural lit literacy stuff. So it talks about dive gear and it defines dive gear as mask, snorkel, fins, wetsuit, air tanks, and other apparatus, chapter one. So when you're reading chapter one and you get to dive gear, if your kids don't know what dive gear is, I live in Flor Florida, of course my kids know what dive gear is, but if you live in Minnesota, you may not. And so you just tell them it's a mask so that when you swim, you can see underwater. And then there are questions to discuss after you read and timeline and map points down here, just like for the history Bible lit. And so this book keeps the pages in it and that's it for that. So that's it, that is your week one, day one, history Bible lit information. So now let's look at the language arts. The language arts pages are pink, they're color coded so you don't get them confused. And don't forget, down at the bo bottom, it also, if, if in case a piece, a piece of paper comes out of your binder and you're like, what is this? It'll tell you what it goes to. So um, this shows you that it's, I cannot read backwards, Exploring American History. So you know that this is going to be HBL. Um, it also tells you at the top, History by Bible Lit. So the, lang the language arts. Um, you're going to do the same thing. You're going to pull this information. You're going to pull the books from, from your shelf and keep it in your pile. So again, I don't have these, so I don't have them. But my first picture, picture dictionary is another book that's about this size. Um, lang language and phonics activities is actually not a book. It's all the information is going to be in the instructor's guide. And then you see how these are gray. These two boxes here are gray and they are this one is labeled optional. That's because it's optional. <laughs> you don't have to do it. And since you don't have to do it, Sunlight won't send it to you. You're, you won't have gotten this book. And um, if you wanted to add it in, it's, they do put it in the schedule for you, but you don't have to do it. And then the handwriting without tears is also gray because we also sell two other handwriting programs. So if you're not doing handwriting without tears, you can um, write in what you are doing here. So they, they leave you a blank so you, you can put in. You can also down, download a printable handwriting schedule from your account. And if you wanted to just tuck it in behind, you wanna write, write it in, we just did one a day, a page a day, and work through it that way. So then down at the bottom, it gives you a weekly overview. This is what you're going to be lear learning this week. And it tells you you're going to learn the letter F, um, then it, they want you to visit the library and you're going to play I Spy, which is a game and all that information is going to be in your notes. And then um, for narration, for the creative expression, you're going to narrate, which just means retell a story from a, pic, a favorite picture book. So, you know, it could be Good Night Moon, it could be anything but they're just going to tell you the story and you're going to write it down. But all that information is found in your notes. So you're going to go to my first picture dictionary and it says on my notes, it says F pages. So what does that mean? So here is F pages, day one. This is that introductory material that you will want to pre-read on your teacher planning retreat day or Sunday afternoon or whatever before you start. And then, then it tells you what to do. In language arts, you see these boxes are pink. Those are scripted. You can literally read them to your child. So today, let's begin with my first picture dictionary. Let's look through it. Let's turn the pages and what do we see? Can you tell me how it's put together? And then they, they give you the, an the answer. It's in alphabetical order. The alphabet is listed down the side of the page, blah, blah, blah. Again, I don't have that book. So let's look at the A page for 
a minute. The pictures on the left side are aardvark and acorn, and the pictures on the right side are astronaut and automobile. And you're just reading this to, to your child. Then you're gonna go to the F page, page. I'm, I'm skipping ahead. I'm not gonna read the whole thing to you. And then it says, go to the F page. So you're gonna flip to the F page in your book. We are lear learning this sound this week. Can you come up with some more words that begin with this letter? So whatever the F page is, frog and you know, whatever um, is there. Help your child come up with some more F words. Fantastic, Fa fabulous, um, whatever. So that's it. That is that section there. Um, that's what you're, you're gonna do with my first picture dictionary. Then you're going to do language and phonics activities. So again, go to your notes. Language and phonics activities is here. Day one is here. Letter pictures. And just read it. I'm not gonna sit here and read you the whole thing. Um, but then, so that's day one. And then on day two, it says hit the library. So it's going to explain what, what you're gonna do with hit the li li library. And you just work through all those pa pages. Um, get ready for the code An answer key is gonna be here. It's gray because remember it's optional. So all this here is gray. So if you're not doing it, just ignore that. If it helps you to cross it out, cross it out. So that's that. I'm seeing what else that there is here. Okay, and then creative expression. This is where kids can str struggle. And, and what I want to tell, tell you is it's a process, okay? Your kids are not going to, from day, day one, be able to write a story. So you are serving as their scribe. They're not writing at all, right? They're in kindergarten. They're not able to write. So they're going to tell you what they want to say, and you are going to write it down for, for them. And that is all listed here. So read through through that. Okay, so that's creative writing, all that. Okay, so that's language arts. Then you have this activity sheet. So it's going to tell you in the notes when you're going to do the activity sheet. So what, as you're re reading, it will say, let me see if I can find a place. Okay, so day one um, creative expression is copy work. Later, your, your ch children will write copy work passages pulled from one of the books they read. For now, as your children learn the letters and their sounds, have your child write the letter of the week. This week, it's F, so, you're, so you have F up here at the top. So you can either do it on here or on, on a separate sheet of pa paper. So have them write the uppercase letter six times. So it's all, it's, all, it's all spelled out in here, what you're doing. On day two, you're gonna cir circle the picture. So you're gonna circle the one that starts with the f sound. So we have frog and we have flag, not boots, no. Okay, so I think, I think that's pretty self-explanatory. So we're gonna move on now to science. So science, it's set up the same way. These are the books you're reading from. So you're gonna start with the ants book. I don't have it, I didn't fake it. It's a book called Ants. And then um, each day you're gonna just read a few pa pa pages and then it tells you activity um, sheet questions one, one through three. So the activity sheets comes directly behind your schedule page and so they're going to answer questions one through three. So you have read all this information in your book, and so you're going to have your child fill, fill this out. Now what I like to do is I'll put this on a clipboard so my child has it in their lap, and I'll say, okay, um, let's read question one. And question one says, ants are a type of, and it has insect, reptile, mammal, bird, Okay, so that's what we're listening for. So I start to read, and at some point I read, ants are a type of insect. And so they're going to circle insect. And then it says, who live and work together in a group or alone? And so at some point I will read that they work together in a group, and so they will check the box. 
And then, number two, label the parts of an ant. Please find cutout number one in the appendix. So this is where you need to find the cutouts. So in the appendix, um, that's gonna be in the back. How am I gonna do this? Okay, so in the back, after all of the weekly tabs, okay, you're gonna find section three and section four. So you're going to flip, familiarize yourself with this section and see what's back here. Okay, I gotta, I gotta set this down. Um, so I have in section three, I have, I'll pull it out so you, you can see it. I put a sticky here so that I can find, find it. And you may even want to label what this is. So this whole section here, these are all the read aloud notes, the ones that go with the books that you read out loud that you're gonna tuck into the book and keep them together, okay? So that's where those are found. And, and in this particular le level, they are in alphabet, no, they are in the order that you read, read them. So week, uh, read, read aloud week two and three is gonna be a different book. Week four and five is gonna be a different book and you'll find those here. So that's the first part of section three, okay? Then also part of section three, see it's a, it's a different color. What color was this one? Language arts. So this is where the re readers are found. So this is for kindergarten, but also any other level of re readers, you'll find that here. And you can do the same thing. You pull out the, the sheet that goes with the re reader that you're reading and you tuck it in with the book and you just do the questions there. So that's the reader section. And then the third section of section three is blue, which tells me it's science. And the very first page is showing me list of additional items you, you will need. This is helpful to kind of look at at the beginning of the year, again, as part of your teacher plan, planning retreat. You can use a highlighter and highlight things that you know you don't have that you'll need to get or save glass jar with lid, glue, hair dryer, like those kind, kinds of things. Um, so, and it tell, tells you when you're going to use these things. So which experiment. So this is a great resource to have and that's gonna be in section three. And then I find, oh, look at there. There's the cutout sheets for science. science. Um, so there's several of them. You're going to use them throughout the year. So you can either Pull them all out and put them in your half inch binder that you're gonna use as your working binder so that they're all there. You can, I mean, that's probably the best thing to do. Yes, this is gonna be recorded, yes. This is why I'm doing it, so that I can tag people when they want to know this information. So this is the cutout page, okay? So that's section three. Then there's section four. And there's some more, some more stuff back here. The stuff I wanted to point out, um, up in the front, it has the scope and sequence for history Bible Lit. There's one for language arts. There's a glossary of phonics rules. So if you're not sure about things, you, you can find that there. But this is where you're going to find the cutout sheets for language arts. So the cutout sheets for science were in section three. The cutout sheets for language arts were in section four. I don't know why, but that's where they, where they are. So again, you can pull these out and put them in, at the back of your half inch binder and that way they're always with you. I think that's all I had. Now, any questions? I'm happy to answer any questions at all. It doesn't have to be about K, but this is the instructor's guide that I had and I saw a lot of people um, we're having questions. We're just kind of wigging out about how to start and so much flip flipping, which is why I say, I mean, I did it and I recommend it to everybody. Just start with week one. Just take these pages with your cutouts, put them in a small half inch binder, and this is all you have to focus on this year. Okay, I don't see any questions. So if after you've watched this, for those of you who did not tune, tune in live, I'm, this will post. If you have any questions at all, you can post them in the comments of the video. Um, you can DM me, you know, send, send me a direct message. I'm happy to answer any questions. Um, if there are other um, videos that you would like to see, 
post those like, hey, I really wanna see how you do whatever. And um, we will work those into our uh, plan for lives. Next week on Tuesday, you can come back and watch me walk through the time, um, the markable map. Um, I will be going over that again. Basically, it's, I mean, it's what I showed, showed here, but I will do it again. So, all right, everybody, I hope you found this helpful. And like I said, if you have any questions, just go ahead and post. Happy week weekend.